Bruh, this is big. I mean, this is huge. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Plays. What is going on everybody how are y'all doing we have a big 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 nintendo switch 2 rumor slash leak a couple of zelda tears of the kingdom leaks mario news just an epic video a video but first give the video a huge thumbs up let's get it over 150 likes let's get right to this rumor slash leak and why i think this makes sense now y'all remember nintendo announced a nintendo live event this is official from nintendo in september well this new rumor slash leak is saying nintendo will in fact have a june event reveal the switch 2 at this june event and then in September, at the Nintendo Live event, you can play the Switch 2 in person. Now, I have to tell you this. First, I was like, uh, I don't think I'm going to this Nintendo Live event in September. If it's a new game, that's cool. We'll probably have demos and stuff on the eShop. But when it comes to hardware, if the Switch 2 will be playable at this event, I would probably go. Not 100%, but I probably would. Because uh, y'all know we're moving into the new house. The new house just finished being built. We're about to move. So it's a, lot of, a lot of factors playing in. But the news is Switch 2 reveal in June. And this is why this sort of makes sense. Historically, Nintendo has big reveal announcements in June because of E3. E3's been canceled. E3's dead in my opinion. I don't think E3's ever coming back. That's going to be a relic of Gaming Pass. Ah, I got to uh, embrace it and enjoy it at least once. So we lit. We lit. We still got that Zelda commemorative coin. It was lit. Thank you, Nintendo, for um, getting me an E3 ticket. But E3 gone. Nintendo still making plans to have a big June event just makes perfect sense. And not just hardware, but software as well. The new Mario game is rumored to be a 2D Mario game. A new 2D Mario game will also be announced and launching alongside the new Switch hardware. Bro! take it to just take my word at it the switch 2 is going to sell like crazy if it launches with a new 2d mario game this year with the mario movie selling like it is right now the mario movie is breaking all kinds of records it's just been announced that the mario movie has this the best second week launch of any animated movie ever i think it came in at 87 million in its second week which is crazy for week two so nintendo's at an all this is the best time to be a nintendo fan the mario movie so epic i went and saw it twice <laughs> i was going to go three times i went and saw it twice Breaking all kinds of records, bringing so much exposure to Nintendo. Switch, the Switch is on top. It's still kissing, killing. 123 million sold, over 123. Crazy. Nintendo World, their theme park. Insane. And we're on the cusp of Switch 2. Nintendo announces a 2D Mario game that will launch with the Switch 2 insane 
It's going to be insane. I tell you this, the second time I was watching the Mario movie, I, I can't play the, any uh, Mario movie, of course, trailers and copyright claims and all that stuff. But the second time I was watching the Mario movie, and when Mario was doing the platforming, like running and doing the platforming in the movie, and it was on a 2D plane, I was saying to myself, oh my goodness, what if really behind the scenes, while Illumination was working on the movie, they were also doing the assets for this 2D Mario game. And the visual fidelity, the graphical fidelity is close to that on a Switch 2? That would be insane, bro. That would be insane if the game looked that good. So, first woman, I did take this with a huge grain of salt. June, June Switch 2 reveal. September playable Switch 2 at the Nintendo Live event. Rumors you got it. Some of these rumors you got to take with a real grain of salt, especially when I'm not too sure on the history, the track record, or the sources. Uh, so just take it with a grain of salt. The next news item DJ Khaled. We have another one. Bro, we got some Tears of the Kingdom information. First, this really isn't a leak because it's official by Nintendo. Um, uh, Nintendo is selling Japanese cards, um, purchase cards for um, Tears of the Kingdom, download cards. And on the download card, there's an image of two characters. One of these characters was shown in the um, trailer number three but just the fact that these characters appear again this is the image on the official japanese download card lets us know that they're going to play a pretty significant role in the game now it's being said that um, these characters could be part of the helia and zonai tribes and in um tears of the kingdom but can't wait <laughs> This game, game has me so hyped, bro. So this is my most hyped game for 2023, Tears of the Kingdom. I can't wait, can't wait. But that's not it. Nintendo has also revealed where the game will begin. On Nintendo's official Tears of the Kingdom website, it gi it's giving us more information. And it says, Link begins his journey on one of the many mysterious floating islands that have suddenly appeared in the skies high above Hyrule. It's here, it's there our hero will have to gain new abilities before returning to the surface world to begin his epic adventure. So, it's been officially confirmed by Nintendo. Link will begin his journey in this... Bro, that drop, that Fortnite dive? <laughs> epic. And I told y'all, I was impressed at how this transition went straight from the sky to the ground no loading screens no pop-up i don't know what nintendo did bro but they really really like put their time in the game just a seamless transition can't wait tears of the kingdom we hype boy but speaking of tears of the Kingdom and new releases. Gotta remind you guys, two games right around the corner that I'm hyped to play. Final Fantasy, Pixel Remastered, already um, pre-ordered. Um, pre uh, Final Fantasy 1, that's the only one I'm getting. And Advance Wars on the 21st in two days. Oh, in, no, no, in, in four days. I was looking at the wrong date. In four days, Advance Wars. That's what I was about to say. So that's lit, that's lit, that's lit. One more tidbit dope news item I have to share with y'all. The Mario movie effect is benefiting Nintendo all around. Because of the Mario movie, three Mario games have reappeared in the top 10 in the UK. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Odyssey, and New Super Mario Bros. U have reemerged. Their sales have spiked because of the Mario movie. It's a win-win for Nintendo. Mario Movie 2 is almost a guarantee, bro. I'm just telling y'all. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, 
click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man. I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master, the right Jedi Obi -Wan. Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towers. I got you, homie. Dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy, let's go. Guys. <laughs>